I wish my son could live a full, healthy life where he felt rewarded and was always learning. Encyclopedia Britannica presents a parent's wish list. I think it's every parent's dream maybe to have a doctor in the family. Every parent has a wish list for their child, and with the help of the new Encyclopedia Britannica, many of those wishes can come true. Encyclopedia Britannica is the finest home learning program in the world. A 32-volume family reference library that will give your child an important advantage all through the school years. I think what I want is the best education she can get. To get more information on the new Encyclopedia Britannica, call for this free color booklet now. And just for previewing Encyclopedia Britannica in your home, you'll get this handsome three-volume desk reference set as a free gift. Our wishes are that he just lives up to the potential that he has. For your free Encyclopedia Britannica information booklet, call now. 1-800-841-2200. The show you are watching is a paid program or advertisement. USA Network is not responsible for the claims and representations made by the sponsor. Sure. But instead of just dreaming about a bigger paycheck, why not make it come true by training at home for a better career? Call this free number to find out how easy it is to do. At ICS, more than 10 million men and women have prepared for new careers without setting foot inside a classroom, and you can too. You can get your diploma or degree through ICS. Choose from any one of these courses. High school, TV, VCR repair, computer programming, electrician, animal care specialist, auto mechanics, bookkeeping, legal assistant, interior decorating, drafting, hotel restaurant management, learning the personal computer, electronics, or get your degree. You can major in business management or accounting. Make this important call right now. Call now for the free information William Shatner spoke about. Then decide if you want to train at home for a better career to make more money. Call 1-800-451-3700. There's absolutely no obligation. That's 1-800-451-3700 for free career information. Call now. It's the first word on business. Reporting from San Antonio. The economic issues you need to know. That's one of the key secrets to success. News your company needs to grow. Wake up to the world with First Business on USA, coming up next. You're watching USA, America's favorite cable network. Friday, January 15th, 1993, the pictures are in showing hits and misses as the U.S. claims victory in the attacks on Iraq. Marketing to the baby boom generation, who will make the money from the graying of America? And getting ready for the big show, the inauguration parade. It's a business opportunity, too. This is First Business, Friday. Brought to you by Connecticut Mutual Life Insurance the Blue Chip Company, and by the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. Good morning from Washington. I'm Bart Neckert. There's good news for the U.S. economy this morning from the 1992 holiday season. Santa left a lot of economic goodies for the nation last month. We get the details from First Business correspondent Suzanne Rivera. The economic figures from December are painting a brighter picture of the struggling economy. Stronger sales for new car dealers help boost overall retail sales higher. That according to the Commerce Department. Wall Street economists had predicted a more modest gain on retail sales. Prices at the wholesale level rose by a mere two-tenths of a percent, led by a rise in food prices. The Federal Reserve sees this as a victory in their war to tame inflationary pressures. Construction orders continued to pick up in December. A Dun & Bradstreet poll of 200 construction firms found executives upbeat about the next three months. And industrial production posted gains in December as well. That has led many manufacturers to plan for increasing capacity. But in spite of the economy gradually gaining momentum, many economists say one downside is the lagging unemployment figures. Suzanne Rivera, First Business. Hope is fading for a new world trade agreement. Diplomats involved in negotiations for the treaty called the General Agreement on Tariffs and Trade, or GATT, are expressing little confidence a deal can be reached before a critical deadline in early March. 
to present the treaty for fast-track clearance by the U.S. Congress. They say an impasse between the United States and the European...